everybody, welcome to the playground. It's Davey. Uh, I'm here by myself today because I thought I'd just hop on my laptop and record a video. I've kind of been like in a funk and uh, I didn't really know what to do, but Honey Pop 2 is coming out pretty soon, so I thought it'd be fun to just, you know, go through this game and uh, play it a little bit. Uh, honestly, I don't know. I don't know why I picked Honey Pop, but it's kind of one of those things where I just feel like playing a game and talking. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Honey Pop, I've beaten it like once, but it was it was fun, and it's like a funny, I wouldn't call it a joke game, because like, you know, a lot of love went into this, but it's fun nonetheless, and I'm going to play it. Alright, uh, so we've tried to do this like on the channel like twice, never really got to it, but let's just start a new file, let's go, start as a male. Bar and Lounge. Hello. What the who be? Uh okay, let's not let's not jump the gun a little too hard. Um You're like really cute. You no, know, right? It's crazy. <laughs> My name is Q. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Q. Uh that's a pretty weird name. Oh, thanks. No, that's great. I have a weird name. Look, dude. Are you gonna be alright? Looks like you're having some trouble holding it together over there. I'm doing just fine, madam. I am okay. Don't you fret. I can literally see you sweating through your shirt. Hmm. I've actually I feel fortunate enough that I don't think I've ever like left like a pit stain. But to be fair, I wear like black shirts all the time. So if she can see it, it's gotta be obvious. And she's gone. Much like a lot of my dates, they do not last the night. Hey you, rise and shine, we've got work to do. I said get up. Eh, five more minutes. Sometimes sometimes I just can't get up, you know what I mean? Uh who are you? Uh, you did have brown hair, but girls dye their hair all the time. I'm going to assume we fucked. No, no, God, no. Besides, I was on the clock. If you can't tell by now, I'm a fairy. Well, a love fairy, to be exact. Uh, you can't fool me. Fairies aren't even real. I assure you that fairies are indeed a thing. You see... Love fairy, it's my job to help poor saps like you out with the ladies. It's just what I do. I don't like to brag, but I'll have you know I have a very impressive track record. All of my previous clients are basically walking babe magnets now. You though. <clears throat> Let's just say you will be my greatest accomplishment yet. I don't know, it seems kind of weird that you'd want to help me, so what is it? What's in it for you? you and all the questions. Can't a fairy just help a brother out? We need to get started right away. Tell me, how many dates have you been on? I'll have you know. It all is indeed a number. It's worse than I thought, isn't it? Alright, grab your shit. We're going on a date right now. Someone has to show you the ropes. I know a place nearby that's open pretty late. You'll love it. Or not, I don't care. Oh, we're going on a date. We did it, boys. We're in it. Alright, so this game is pretty fun. It's right, just a puzzle game, and it's one that... I'm pretty good at puzzle games. I really don't. I can explain it. Alright, so I kind of just cut out her explanation, because, you know, I play games. I, I can explain it. I can explain this game pretty well. Pretty decent at puzzle games. So, there are a few tokens, which uh, you're going to want to match. Red, sexuality, uh... Green is flirtation. Orange is something else. And blue is talent. 
I actually don't remember what orange and green are. I just know that they go there. They're a thing. But uh, you're going to want to level up your passion with the hearts because you get more points. And you need these sentiment tokens in order to give gifts. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, move this up there. Boom. Gonna give her this and boom bada bing. I get more cool, huh? passion. There are like a ton of different date gifts that you can get too. They each have a unique effect on the date and can be extremely useful in combination. Oh, <laughs> and thanks to a little fairy magic, you'll never actually lose them. So you can use them on your next date too. <laughs> Is that cool or what? That's pretty all right, neato. Alright, I've gone on long enough. I'll let you finish up the date so you can get the hang of it. Oh, and don't worry, I won't let you fail this one. I'm not that mean. Alright, so you have a limited amount of moves, so usually you can fail a date. And sometimes I mess up. Sometimes, you know, dates don't go as well as you want them to. But you know what, you just gotta get back up and you try again. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Um, this is my first solo let's play in a while. You know, uh, I think the video already went out. Uh, Therese is no longer with the channel, and... As uh, weird as that is, you know, we're moving on. Uh, I actually talked to Teresa recently, um, and she said she was perfectly fine with it. And, you know, she's wishing us the best, and that's cool. Um, this is a Let's Play that me and T tried to do a long time ago. And, you know, I thought... I, I, I thought it'd be good to go back and, you know, just finish it up myself. Uh, you know, we, we started this channel, and this was one of the first games that we actually wanted to play. Uh, which is because we thought, you know, we, we, we both really liked this game. We thought it was both really funny. Uh, we, we both played it on our free time and we talk about the game. Just because it's, I don't know, it's one of those games that it's kind of funny to, to, look, at, to look at and are funny to play. Um, just because of how ridiculous it gets. And I wouldn't say I'm like the best at this game, you know. Uh, I don't play it like all the time. It's like, it doesn't take up my whole, like, you know, my day. I don't spend hours upon hours playing Honey Pop. But it is one of those games that when I did play it, I thought it was a lot of fun, and I wouldn't mind, you know, just sitting down and playing it again, and talking. Because it's been a while. It's been a while since I've really sat down in my room and recorded a Let's Play, because, you know, the way the channel is now, uh, we kind of just, I don't know, it just feels a little less intimate at times. Which, I'm not saying anything, like, about the guys, it's like, it's cool. But, you know, it's been a while since I've sat down in my room and just recorded a video. Morning already? We are way behind schedule. Okay, check it out. I have one last thing to give you, and this is important. Introducing the latest in Love Fairy technology, the Honeybee 4.0. The Honeybee. Honeybee is such a lifeline for any player on the go. It automatically registers the info of new girls you meet and can even track their location. Neato. You can organize your inventory, buy new gifts, upgrade your traits. It's awesome. We don't have time to go over every feature, but you're a big boy. You can figure it out. Or yeah, I can go ahead and explain it. Okay, so the honeybee is like a little phone that you have. There's little things you can look at. This is your inventory where you can see all the gifts. You can put uh, your gifts and food in this item to give to girls. Uh, messages are what girls send you. I might have to censor a lot of those out. The girls you meet will be here. We have men yet. Girl Finder is where the next nearest girl will be. There are none yet. And depending on which girl you are, in fact, this is a very important thing. I'm going to buy this now. Um, but depending on what girl you're with, you're going to want to buy them gifts that uh, they think they would think is best. It's going to go a long way in the future, which I will explain later. Unique gifts are for people or for, you know, girls uh, want unique gifts. You, you basically kind of like a level up. You're going to want to increase their how much they like you with these gifts. Drinks uh, start off, drinks, the, the most amount of the drunk depends on how much sentiment you have in the beginning. How hungry they are is how much um, passion you have in the beginning. Or how many how many turns you have. Uh, something like that. But it's pretty straightforward. Your traits, this is where you level up everything. You gain all these by, you know, going on dates with girls and answering questions while talking to them. Settings, all this is fine. But... Okay, great. Weird. I think that's it for now. Let's get out there and talk to some broads. Or we can just chill with video games. Said, let's go talk to some broads. Okay, okay. Let's That's do it. That's what I like to hear. Now, if you want to meet a hot chick, 
You gotta go where the hot chicks are. I've done some scouting and I have a few ideas of where to start. It depends what type of girls you're into. We can check out the university, the mall, the gym, the park, or the nearby cafe. What'll it be? Okay, so if I remember correctly, um, yeah, let's let's start with my favorite girl, and I'm pretty sure she's gonna be in the Good university. Choice, rookie. Couldn't have picked it better myself. All right, ready? Get your game face on. That's weird. I can't say I've ever met anyone in like in public, not in public, but like. Ran like randomly like at a store or something. Usually anyone I've met has like from like school, so I think it's fitting that I start here. I'm glad I ran into you. Have you had a chance to grade our exams yet? Uh remind me what that was on again? You know, the conservation of whatever you call it. Oh yeah, yeah. I think those are on my desk. Somewhere. Oh, okay. Do you know when you might be able to get them back to us? Later. Next week probably. I'm sure you did fine, Tiffany. You think? I hope so. I don't know, I was having trouble with some of the material. Do you know what we're going over next week? I'd like to try and get a head start this time. Next week? I don't know yet. Actually, I have a pounding headache right now. Can we do this later, please? Yeah, okay. Sorry to bother you, Miss Yumi. No, it's fine. I'll talk to you later. I really like how each girl kind of interacts with each other. It's kind of funny that we're just kind of watching. Let's just find out we're fucking like senile. Girl, I don't need it. This is your classic girl next door situation. She's nice, so don't say anything to scare her off. But don't be afraid to take a chance. I actually really like her a lot, so let's see. Excuse me, do you know where I can find the student union? Hey, don't take this the wrong way, but I thought you were cute and I don't know how to say hi. Would it be too forward to ask you on a date? Uh, let you know. She's cute. Let's just say, Who, let's say hi. Me? I love her. She is my favorite in this game. Are you starting this semester? No, but if the girls here are as cute as you, I might have to reconsider. I teach here, Professor Handsome. They call me. That's a little too much. Thinking about it, would you recommend the school? You know, let's just start. Let's start very um. Let's have a conversation. This place is awesome. My professors are the best. You strike me as the athletic type. You on a varsity team? Sorry, am I holding you up from class? If I end up going here, you got to show me around. Uh, you know, that's 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 flirty. That's uh, it means like you know we're gonna see each other more. Let's go with that. Yeah, I love that. It's really a beautiful. Camp. I need to stop doing that. My name is I've been playing on a track ha trackpad for all our let's plays, so having a mouse is a little different for me. You seem like a cool guy. Hopefully, I'll see you around campus. No way! You did it. Well, with my help, of course. I gotta admit, I did not expect you to pull that off. Beginner's luck. Don't let it go to your head. By the way, that other chick that was here just a second ago? Since she was in range, the honeybee started tracking her location too. So after you're done here with this girl, you can go catch up with her too. Just bust out the honeybee and check out the girl finder screen. I'm pumped. You pumped? Yeah, you're pumped. Go get him. I'll be around if you need me. <laughs> What am I saying? Of course you need me. I know the game's actually starting. I feel like I can talk more, but uh, you know it's cool. Like all, all the all the uh, tutorial stuff is kind of done. Let's see what he had to say. Before I forget, the money you earn during our their date, you can use that to buy gifts, food, and drinks using the store the store app on on Honeybee. It'll even detect which gifts the girl you're talking to prefers, and then we'll mark them with an icon. We practically done all the work for you. And that is a good uh, segue to what we're going to do right now. Let's go to the store. Okay, so she's going to like a swimmer's cap. That's great. And let's get the hair bow. That's all well and good. So let's go ahead and give her these. Actually, do I give her these now or do I? I have, I have to try to like remember things, but let's see what this is. 
Uh, how much do you weigh, if you don't mind me asking? Where do you What do you study in college? What's your favorite place to hang out? Um, you're gonna you're gonna have to remember her stats because she's gonna be asking you questions later. So let's ask him what she weighs. Okay, good to know. Uh, I think we are gonna want to give her these. Okay, so you give them the unique gifts to get more honey out of your questions. Now I remember. Let's ask when her birthday is. December 22nd, right before the holidays. Good to know. Uh, we're gonna have to want to go on a date soon. Do any money for food? She likes bubble gum. We have no money. Let's just go on that. Let's go on that date. All right, all right. How can I say no to that? I mean, we just met. It's pretty easy to say no. First day with Tiffany. All right. It's been a while since I've been on a first date, so hopefully we can get through this. The market. What a neat idea. This should be fun. And I love your outfit. Okay. But yeah, what was I was saying earlier. Uh, this game's pretty easy for me to just uh, sit down and talk, which is kind of why I picked it. But, you know, it's kind of, I kind of have this running theme of we never finish, uh, you know, we, ne we never finish our series, and I kind of need to see what her favorite thing is. She likes flirtation the best and hates sexuality. Okay, I gotta remember that. So flirtation's gonna give me more, uh, more points. But yeah, we have, we have a tendency to never finish a series, and... You know, it's kind of one of those things where I would I would really... It, it feels weird to start a new series when I have so many unfinished things on the channel. And so, why not just take the time to do that, you know what I mean? So, coming back to Honey Pop, and we're, I'm, 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 I'm going to finish this series. That's the plan. So, you know, if any, any of y'all need to doubt me, even though we started this twice and have finished it, I will finish it this time. And it's a little easier because I don't have to worry about a co-host and scheduling and all that. Uh, I can go ahead and record whenever I feel like it. And it's going to help me whenever we can't get to, can't get the guys together to record. It'll help me get videos done because I can use this as kind of filler, I guess. Uh, even though I wouldn't really want to call it that. Hmm. Let's move you here. So yeah, this game is... I just... This is a little uh, different. It's been a while since I've done a solo playthrough. It's been a few. It might have been like almost a year and a half now because we were gone for a minute. But videos will be coming back, you know, uh, sooner than later. Uh, I'm actually we started Danganronpa and we're doing uh, Celeste, so those videos will be up alongside this one. Uh, so that'll be cool. Now I should have been paying attention to what I was doing. And that is the big problem of me talking uh, a bunch of nonsense while trying to do this. So, uh, I'm going to move that here. Let's see, how do we fix this? Uh, we're only we're only missing uh, 30, 30 points, so that's, that shouldn't be too difficult. Let's go ahead and move that there. Let's see, uh, one more, a couple more moves should do it. Uh, okay, let's see. Hmm. Let's move that there. Um, let's go ahead and... I don't wanna... Hmm. That's a toughie. Let's go ahead and does that really... Okay, one more move should do it. Yep, there it is. Boom. Did it. We had two moves left, but that's fine. It's been a while, you know, it's been a while since I've been on a first date, so if anything, I try I chalk this up as a win. And I'm the coolest guy she knows. Easy. Easy money. Yeah, maybe while I'm doing the series I can talk about some date stories because uh, I got a few. I've been I've been I've been around the block. And by that I mean I've had some wacky relationships. Uh, what'd she say? Would you date an attractive girl if you really liked her as a person? Um, you know, probably not. You need to be attracted to your partner, and that's true. You do need to be attracted to the person you're with. Who did I get a message from? Uh, some tips from Q. 
but you didn't you should be attracted attracted to the person you're with because you would naturally be attracted to them you know if you're not attracted to them it probably means you, you just don't yeah uh, there's not a connection there because even if no matter how, how someone looks you do feel attracted to them because of who they are uh, so I'll get off my soapbox but we do need to leave Tiffany behind and go to our little teacher friend so I'm probably going to structure the videos to be like two girls per episode, um, and hopefully I can do a good, like I, my runs hopefully will be good, and I don't have to worry about uh, messing up the girls. Oh, hey Belly. What's wrong? Seems like something's bothering you. Belly yeah, is also great. Life. I love her. <laughs> How are classes going? Uh, I don't want to talk about that. Mm, well, I think I have just the thing. I'm headed to the beach to work in a few poses. You should join me. Nothing like a little exercise to melt that stress away. Uh, Belly's so right. positive and nice. I'm She's great. It. Will I at least be seeing you this weekend at the studio? I'll be there. I don't think I have anything else going on for once. Great. Can't wait. See you there. Echo's outfit is kind of weird. I don't know yeah. what it is. Like her pants being see through kind of at the bottom. Kind of ripped up don't a little bit. Why is she wearing a tie? How There's a lot going on here. Like a yellow plague. Are those jokes kosher? This is a tough approach. She's kind of in a shitty mood, so say something stupid to try and cheer her up. It doesn't matter what. The stupider, the better. Alright, the stupider, the better, huh? Uh, is it... Is it funny how life is pointless and nothing matters? <laughs> I ask myself the same thing all the time. Alright, we're in it. Uh, let's see. Not nah, before. What's up? You look a little bummed, but uh, you look a little bummed out over here. Oh no, I'm good. I'm just trying to relax, enjoy a little downtime between classes. And they teach up at UOG. You know the place? It's like the only university in the city for some reason. Hmm. A teacher, you must be really smart. Oh, so you got that sexy teacher angle going then? Oh yeah. What do you teach? What do you teach? Well, I'm supposed to be a physics professor. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> I'm glad you came over here. I needed a good laugh. The kids call me Miss Yumi, but you can call me Aiko. Nice to meet you, Aiko. Aiko is also a pretty baller. So, uh, do we have any money? We do. Okay, let's go to the store. Uh, we don't need food right now. Chopsticks she does like. This game gets a little kind of... Not racist. It's playfully racist, and so I, I wouldn't I take take all these jokes with a grain of salt. It is not very. Let's give it to her. Let's give her these. It's, it isn't very PC, but I do think the game is pretty funny. Oh, let's not give her that. What can I throw this away? Actually, I don't need my inventory, do I? Okay. So it's very important that you take this and toss it when you're in the park. It's very important that you do that. What's this? Okay, let's put that here. Gifts and food? Date gifts. Let's put that in under date gifts. Excellent. Okay. So, hey, question. So, honestly, how many chicks are you seeing right now? How many am I seeing right now? Um... I think she appreciates honesty. She doesn't seem like the type to settle down and be exclusive. There are a couple girls that I'm talking to. It's fair. Your honesty, but they better not be cuter than me. Of course not, baby. Let me ask you something. You a political person at all? Political. Um. That's a bunch of noise to me. You too? They all sound like a bunch of douchebags to me. That always seems like the best answer. All right, we're really out of. Do we have money for food? We do. Excellent. When I'm recording this, it's almost 4th of July, so if there's fireworks in the background, my bee. She likes carrots. And do I have enough for cabbage? I do not have enough for cabbage, but I have enough for mangoes, you see. Let's give these to her. Alright. Yep, let's hit her with some food. Let's ask her more questions. Uh, let's ask her how old she is. Twenty-eight. 28's still pretty young. It's okay. Nothing, nothing to be ashamed of. Let's talk to her. Mm -hmm. oh, this is random, but how tall are you? Last time I checked, I was 5'4". 5'4", okay. Let's 
good to know. Um, we do have some things for some traits. So what is Iko's favorite trait? Girls, Iko. Must there's trait sexuality. Okay, so what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna level up our sexuality for this uh, for this date because it'll be better. Since so, what you want to do usually is what you want you want to take your your passion points or money and level up whatever trait the girls like best, um, and then use whatever extra you have to upgrade your passion, chariz charisma, and luck. But you know, let's just ask her on the date. Hopefully, uh, everything's gonna go well. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, we're, we're still new to the dating scene. We have to really, you know, just come back and jump into it. Ice rink. Look at this. We've got the whole rink to ourselves. It's a little underdressed for the occasion, but, you know, whatever. Go off. First thing I'm going to do is I need to get some, uh... I need to get some, some turns. Alright, cool. So let's do that. Okay, so she likes sexuality, but what is her least favorite talent? Okay, so luckily I have no talent, which is why I'm let's playing. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make this work. All right, boom! Already getting some sexuality in. Yes, let's get some sentiment. So you're gonna want to get it sentiment as soon as you can. That way, if you're in a bind, you can use your gifts. Those will always help. Um, let's get some passion up. And then more sentiment. Yes, excellent. I want to try to get a four combo with the sexuality tokens, because uh, you're gonna want to get the the points pretty early on. What does this do? Talent, talent isn't important for this, so I really don't care. Oh sweet, I'm already setting up a four right here. Yes, 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 excellent. Uh, how do I want to set this up? All right, perfect. Boom. Okay. All right, those fours yeah, it really boosts it a lot, and we already we still have 15 turns left. Uh, you kind of get a feel for these these kind of puzzle games after playing them a little bit. Uh, I played a lot of Bejeweled uh, back in the day. Cause my grandma had this computer and it had Bejeweled on it for free, and that was sick. And I would play it all the time. So I kind of have a knack for games like this. Um, Sometimes you get these really powerful tokens after matching like the fours and the five, like four, four in a row and five in a row. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I wasn't able to get one for the sexuality, which is kind of a bummer. But you know, we'll power through. We will get through this together. Okay. Well, she really doesn't like talent. You can tell. But what else? It's fine. It's cool. Um, I can't really get another turn, can I? Hmm. I, what do I do to make this work? I could just, yeah, I could just do that. That's fine. Oh, and I beat it. Uh, well, in one more turn, I'd beat it. Let's get another turn. Hmm. Guess it really doesn't matter what I do now. So whatever. Boom! Killed it. Like, at, like eviscerated that date. Like, boom. We're just so good at this. I do. Yeah, I've kind of I've been around the block, right? More fireworks. <laughs> All right, that was great. Let's ask her another question. I've got a question for you. All right. What kind of porn are you into? What kind of porn am I into? Hmm. I want to know. Well, that's the easy question. Uh, browser history would terrify you. I don't really watch porn. Nothing weird, you know. Pretty standard stuff, you know. Let's let's be like, like everyone's got that search history. That's kind of wild. Now I'm curious. It can't be worse than mine, though. All right, she's a freak. Uh, there's really nothing we can do with Aiko anymore, but in the next episode, uh, we'll move on to the next girl, and we'll kind of, you know, we'll start to meet more girls, and you know, we're having a good start. Tiffany and Aiko went very smoothly. Uh, the next girl will hopefully go, you know, the, the same. So if you like this video, please press the like button, subscribe for more content. We're currently playing Celeste and uh, Dog and Rapa. So if you like those games, I wouldn't mind watching. It, would, or, it wouldn't hurt to watch. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Waves start crashing into walls.
between the lines I be captioning my calls Life is little monsters Try to capture in the balls Rappers say they slick Until I trap them in my jaws 45 gun tuss Sort of live summed up Bitch I get it slapping like 45 nunchucks Oh I think I'm young buck Short